सम्मेलन के दौरान चर्चा किए गए मुख्य बिंदुओं का पुनर्वलोकन करने के लिए हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं श्री कामराज तुरघव ही विल शेयर विथ अस सिग्निफिकेंट इनसाइट्स एंड आउटलाइंस एंड क्लियर एंड एक्शनेबल स्टेप्स टू लीव अ लास्टिंग इम्पैक्ट एंड इंस्पायर कंटिन्यूड कमिटमेंट्स अमंग पार्टिसिपेंट्स वेलकम सर offering my humble salutations to bhagwan respected chakravarti sir elders distinguished presenters and speakers i am a little nervous the reason is uh, i was happy when i was given an opportunity to kind of go through all the presentations and uh, sum it up and bring out some key points key takeaways and uh, action points when i started with the first presentation i was clean bold in the sense all presenters are experts in their own fields and they have definitely spent more time for this particular presentation and must have picked up most val val valid points how can i summarize this to give you an idea day 1 we had seven presentations from experts and four presentations from vidya vahini team day 2 we had eight presentations and two from vidya vahini team day 3 today already five presentations how can i even imagine that i will try to pick up some points and then sum it up and bring out key points and uh, key takeaways and action points i was lost so what do we do when we are in panic swami please guide me please give me courage to present this Uh, summary uh, so here i'll attempt to consolidate the objectives key takeaways and action points the summit focused on the integrating inclusive education within the sri satya sai framework we aim to make education accessible to all ensuring no one is left behind our discussions and observations over the past few days have provided valuable insights on day 1 we reflected on the progress and milestones of vidya vahini over the past 10 years these discussions have set the stage for future initiatives here i will attempt to pick up only one sentence from whatever from the presentations or the speakers have shared with us because of lack of time and uh, these days when uh, all of us have been talking about ai and uh, the screen time the the attention span attention span to on a device like a mobile or any of this is anybody has a guess it is 4 seconds so within 4 seconds we change it whether we want to read it or not likewise the attention span to whether i will pick up this topic to read or not is also very very low therefore there is what is called concise communication uh, that is what i am trying to attempt here so sri ratnakar ji 
managing trustee on SSSC Synthesize Central Trust, highlighted how Swami called education as educare. Without values, one becomes literate and with values, educated. Srimati Karana Munchi said, Vidya Vahini's journey is like a stream joining the ocean and each volunteer is a drop of that flow joining the ocean. Professor B. Raghavendra Prasad, Vice Chancellor, the Satyasai Institute of Higher Learning, said SSSIHL is like a gurukula. While speaking about Sri Satyasai, a value-based integral education leveraging the common good, said the education policy of Educare is to bring out what is latent within every human, every student, every child. Professor M.K. Sridhar of NEP Drafting Committee, through his video presentation said, integral education is not complete without inclusion. And at the same time, inclusive education will not serve the purpose until it comes out of integral education. Further, he emphasized that every child is capable of learning. Dr. Daksha Nikana, academic consultant, in her presentation highlighted that learning should be holistic, integrated, enjoyable, and engaging. There should be art integration, sports integration as well. Dr. No, Professor V. Kamakoti, director IIT Madras, in his video presentation highlighted that the gross enrollment ratio must improve to 50% from the current 27% in the next 9 to 10 years. By using digital technology and other technologies like augmented reality and virtual reality. Professor Indu Kumar, professor and head of department of ICT and trading division, CIET and CRT. While explaining the mission of Nipun Bharat, she focused on the scope of online professional development of teachers. Vidya Vaini's team, through their presentations, highlighted the offerings of Vidya Vahini, including deliverables like content training, ad, content training and aid, SOPAN, STEM, and Mission English. So that was day one. So from day one, what are the key takeaways? Impact and milestones of Vidyavani over the last decade, strategies for leveraging digital solutions in education, and key achievements and lessons learned in digital education. From these three takeaways, the action points I felt are develop a timeline for Vidyavani's future milestones, Identify best practices and lessons learned, and implementation plan for the future digital education initiatives. So now we go to day two. Day two, we. Day two, we had eight speakers and two SSV presentations, as I mentioned. Sri Ramesh Kunnath from PwC shared his joy from campus to corporate and as a SAI alumni to CSR initiatives. He emphasized that it is the foundation he had at the campus that gave him courage <coughs> sorry, to ask questions to management in corporate sector. Srimati N. Raj from Deloitte recalled her childhood experience of the impact of free education. Her message to students was give back to society and to your institution, what you have gained. Sri Vikas Agarwal, partner of EY, said that digital cannot replace a teacher. However, digital helps to go deeper into various educational, business, and societal needs. He showcased how AI tools and WhatsApp are being used in education by several state governments and universities. Dr. Uday Kiran, Department of Maths and Computer Science, SSSIHL, said we must embrace neurodiversity and he gave examples how disability turns into ability. Dr. Bharati Kaushik, Associate Professor, NCRT, CIT, explained the terms equality and equity within illustration. She focused on teaching all children equally 
irrespective of ability or disability, equity, not equality. Srimati Mallika Ganapati, consultant edu edu educator, made her presentation very interesting and explained formative assessments with a lot of examples. Dr. P. Manjula, professor and dean, research, All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, explained ideal classroom features and factors related to school environment. Srimati Jayashree Ramesh, director, Asha, talked about collaboration between teachers, therapists, Parents is very vital. Professor Victoria Nami, former Dean School Education, Avinash Lingam University, very aptly said, children who learn together, learn to live time together. Children who live together, live, sorry. Uh, Professor Victoria Nami, former Dean School Education, Avinash Lingam, yeah, said that children who learn together, learn to live together, Children who live together learn to nurture an inclusive nation. Vidyavaini's team, through their presentations, highlighted the offerings from Vidyavaini, including recipient's voice and what, why, and how, a project overview of inclusive education. So the day three takeaways are best practices for inclusive education, importance of sustainability in educational initiatives, and role of philanthropy in scaling educational efforts. These takeaways have been enriched with the insights from our discussions. Day two action points are like develop inclusive education guidelines, establish metrics for measuring sustainability, formulate strategies for building philanthropic partnerships. These actions will be refined with input from our sessions. I know I'm I've been reminded that there's not much time, so I'll quickly go through this. Uh, objectives. On third day, the objective was to introduce and discuss neurodiversity. We aim to understand better so we can support individuals with diverse neurological conditions. Our discussions have provided deeper insights into these topics. I will take one more minute to talk about what the speakers have shared with us. Dr. Sir Sri Justin Jasladas, Head of Operations, Center of Management, IIT Madras. <clears throat> if, uh, if you remember the video, the in, they came out with very interesting aspects of what the individuals are contributing in there. They said engineers were passionately describing their work. Clinical research for community intervention, engineering for Equity, equity, access for everyone, narrowing gap between disability, ability, innovative geometry for safety and performance. Professor M.M. Anand, founder and founding former Vice Chancellor Adani, sir, your presentation was very, 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 very interesting, but I could not really capture what all you said, but I borrowed only one sentence, sir. Human values are caught, not taught. Dr. Anupam Ahuja, former professor and head of International Relations Division, NCRT, emphasized that every learner matters and matters equally, all for the children and for all children. Ambika Subramanian Center for Vidyaniketan Center of Learning Challenges explained that inclusive school leaders take the responsibility for and value all learners irrespective of their background, needs, or ability. Dr. Onita Nakra, educational psychologist, Dubai, suggested that teachers should add cognitive education to their teaching methods. This is my humble effort to capture what they have all said. So the day, three takeaways are understanding neurodiversity, integrating human values in education, and celebrating and supporting diversity. So in conclusion, if we were to kind of further take them forward, I have taken still further only three action points, three takeaways, like reflected on SSV's journey and achievements, 
explored the established inclusive education practices, understood various aspects of neurodiversity, and three action points to develop timelines, guidelines, and capacity building programs, formulate strategies and sustainability for partnerships, celebrate and integrate diversity in human values and education. Why I'm rushing through this is if, not if, we are, we have already announced the next year's conference here. So we have to roll up our sleeves and get into action. We have been blessed with a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and experience shared by all the presenters. I leave you with this picture of integral to inclusion. Thank you. Many thanks to you, sir, for summarizing the highlights of the summit. It was a most difficult task to summarize one of the most impactful and path-breaking events of SSSVV, which we have ever host hosted here, and it was done with great success. I think a big round of applause for SSSVV's <laughs> National Educational Summit. Summit.